Okay, so I'm working on the base for my Tesla coil here. It is made out of uh, one inch MDF. It's actually extra from when I built my table in there. Um, and then the legs here are made out of PVC. This is the bottom side, obviously. But uh, the legs are made out of, I think, I'm not sure. What, I think it's either two inch or two and a half inch PVC. I'm not sure how it's actually uh, measured, but it's one of those two. And then there's four legs, obviously, one in each corner. Uh, they were drilled out with a hole saw, and then these were glued in, and they are not going anywhere. I could probably stand on this, but I'm not going to because I don't want it to break. But um, the hole in the middle right here is for the secondary. It will stick through a couple inches. And then this thing right here, which I just glued up, and it's clamped and I'm waiting for the glue to dry now um, is going to go on the bottom here over the hole this will act as a stop for the secondary tubes it'll go through and then it'll sit on this uh, to hold it in place and then I might have some kind of way to secure the primary so that it doesn't just sit there but that's what it's going to be so far um, so I've got to wait for the glue to dry on that and then glue it to this. I'm going to avoid using screws um, any place I can so I uh, don't have problems with metal because this is obviously high voltage and I don't want stuff catching on fire arcing to the screws. So it's going to be glue for everything. So Okay, you can see that I got the uh, bottom part. Uh, the uh, secondary mount uh, glued on and in place and I trimmed up the bottom of the secondary so that it's square and it sits in there very nicely um, it's actually not loose um, this rocks back and forth I've got to uh, level that but uh, so this just goes right down into there like that, wiggle it around, make sure that it's sitting square, and then it's in. So, now I have to trim the top of it Probably square. doesn't look much different on the video, but maybe you can tell that I trimmed the top nice and square. Um, so now everything will sit nicely up on top. That's the only difference I made. Um, and then I also got the, uh, uh, copper wires put on the side of the spark gap here to join the two, uh, sets of, uh, gaps. So, now this one will arc to this one, and this one will arc to this one. Um, and I got it all pretty looking and nice. So, there you go.